Now, as y'all know, Easter is just a week away, and I want to show y'all some nice, easy projects that we did on the Creality Falcon 2 Pro using some acrylic that our friends over at Great Carve sent us. Now, we already know this machine is going to be a boss on this acrylic. Let's jump right off into it. Now the very first thing we're going to start off, we got this nice piece of bronze, copper, whatever you want to call it, acrylic in here. This this little project is going to be real nice and shiny. We're going to start with it and top it with some brushed aluminum acrylic. Now, as you see, we already know it has no issue I'm cutting out this acrylic. Like I said, this is right here. This is this great carver acrylic does make for nice little projects like this. Now we're gonna get our brushed aluminum off in there. Get it all lined up. And let's get to work. Now with this, again, we got a nice clean cut out. We got our pieces cut out. Let's show you how we're going to fit these all together. Now, essentially what I'm going to do, I'm going to get some star bond right here. I'm going to place my bottom cut out in here. I'm going to set this on top of it, lining it up with my cut lines. Make sure everything's lined up exactly how I want it. And we are going to glue these in the place using this as a template to make sure everything's lined up exactly where it should be to make our project go easier and smoother get that better outcome on here to make sure everything is lined up exactly where it is where there is no second guessing trying to freehand all of this now sometimes freehanding can be a little bit easier depending on what you're doing but simple stuff like this we already have the template here it's set up ready to go it does waste a little material doing this way but at the same time, you're gonna get a better outcome out here knowing you have your template set up exactly where it needs to be. So now we're gonna take our Star Bond Blue. That is ugh, really on there. I'm gonna put a few drops on the back of this. and carefully place it on my template. Like I said, this right here, it makes things so simple and easy to line up, especially on your big projects or something like this. And when it comes to these little bitty dots, oh, it's a definitely a lifesaver because Imagine trying to individually place each one of these on there. It would be, definitely be a chore. Now your hardest part is making sure you get these in the right hole. Now if you cut your, if you set your art up right, all these should be the exact same size. But sometimes they're not. So that's something to think of. Or, you gotta pay attention to your grain on here as well. Now, once you have everything all off into place, all you're gonna do is lift this off make sure your dots or anything is not sticking to it we can remove our bottom knock over the ca glue put the lid on before i spill it everywhere like i just did on my hand and there we have it now as you see we have this nice acrylic 
shiny copper brushed aluminum looking Easter egg. Like I said, this is a great little project. This took all of maybe five minutes, including setting up the artwork. I mean, stuff like this makes it real simple and easy to create, especially when you're trying to decorate something up for Easter. Let's move on to the next project. Now for our next project, we're gonna take this two-tone acrylic where the top layer is black and underneath, once you burn through it or engrave through it, it's gonna show this golden yellow on here. So we're gonna get this loaded up and show you our next project. Oh, well, look at them ducks. Let's get these all out here and get them cleaned up. Now, as you see with this two-tone acrylic, it came out nice. We got nice clean lines around there. It did take me a little while to figure out my settings with this, because it's 40 watt. Everything was set up for 20 watt by the parameters that came in with this material. But by the time I had that first duck figured out, these next ones, came out great and in the process of that i went on and got the black and white out and i did a double-sided one so what i did i cut out two of these one and mirrored the image for the sec other side and just glued these together making a nice little project just to show you some other options you can do with the machine now are you are saying jeff we don't all have acrylic. Our stores around here don't have acrylic. Well, let's get some quarter inch plywood out here. Now, if you're like me, you have a lot of random pieces of quarter inch plywood throughout your shop. I have this stuff everywhere. It's cheap. You can pick it up at your local box store. I always end up picking mine up from Lowe's 90% of the time because I like the way theirs is up there had no issues out of it so i'm going to take a lot of these random pieces i'm going to load them up here in the falcon 2 pro and we're going to cut a seven layer easter bunny design now as you're loading this up be sure to make sure that you're offset right because my first piece i messed up a little bit i forgot to go back and change it from the acrylic so we didn't cut it just right and i'm about to reload everything and start cutting these again all right, now that we have everything cut out from our Falcon 2 Pro, I have all of our little designs off over here, all seven layers lined up. First thing I'm gonna do, well, I scuffed them up with some sandpaper to help clamp the edges a little bit. There wasn't much on there. We just want better adhesion on there. First thing I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lay down some primer. Like I said, this right here is the Sickens Spot Gray Primer something just give it a little nice coat so that way when we go to add our color everything's going to pop off like it should oh unfortunately we ran into a little snag with our spot gray primer so i'm going to use a white to come through and basically prime all these scuff them up once again and then we'll come back with the, our gloss white and our other colors it's just part of it never know what's going to happen like said, no telling how old that can was this is something I found on the shelf, and I've had it probably 10 years on some of my stuff just laying around here. Just a bad can. Never checked it beforehand, but we'll get this on there. Okay, so it's been a little while. We have all of our pieces all painted. Now, the next thing we got to do is come through and line all these up. So essentially we'll take our base, then we'll come to our next layer, take our next layer, get these all lined up. Now essentially what we'll do is once we have all of these, I'm just checking to make sure everything lines up, which I did beforehand as well. Then we'll glue everything down and it'll be ready for whatever you wanna do with it. 
Now, as you see, we have this nice, intricate rabbit. Like I said, we have seven different layers on here. Now, essentially what I would normally do, I'd tape off, tape off the front face and come along and spray all this one even color to make it even. But I'm actually running out of time right now. But as you see, it's nice, intricate, highly detailed. Makes great for something just to sit on the counter to show off. Now, as you see, we got three easy projects we made here with the Creality Falcon 2 Pro. Like I said, this machine makes up extremely easy to use. The exhaust port, man, I'm loving this enclosure with this exhaust port. That way I'm not smelling acrylic in my shop. Granted, a little does get out when I open the unit for not letting it sit there and air out a minute or two after it's done engraving or cutting. But that's all on me. If you sit there and let this do like it should and get all the fumes out you won't have near that issue but i'm always in a rush trying to get stuff knocked out as quick as we can i really like how these three projects came out i mean it's a great little unit now if you like seeing stuff like this be sure to hit that subscribe button right down there it helps me out if you can like this video share it around with your friends until next time y'all take it easy Thank you.